maybe scissors, Yana? It's very similar to second and third degree burns. Okay. Getting up out of bed every day, um, it's just very painful to start a day uh, because when I'm sleeping, I am in pain, but when I wake up, I feel that pain all over again. Epidermolysis bullosa causes sores, painful sores on the skin and in areas that are easily bumped and um, pushed against, like for example the elbows and the knees, the arms, the legs, the buttocks, the back, and also the inside of the mouth. It's a terrible existence these patients can have, especially the patients that have the more severe subtypes. But we've been very motivated to try to develop therapies, specific therapies for these patients. You doing okay? Yeah. Great, you're doing awesome. No problem if you feel lightheaded, if you want us to take a break, no problem. Do you want the fan on? Is it too hot? There's a lot of people. No, I'm good. You're good, so. you're good. It'll be over in hopefully five to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Any pain at all? No. Great. So we take a biopsy of the patient's skin and then we uh, culture the skin cells from that in the test tube in the laboratory. We have the gene that is missing in these patients. It's called the type 7 collagen or Col7A1 gene. That's all they're missing is a good copy of this gene and we give it to them. Thank you. I'll stand back. Okay. One of the major challenges right now there's a chance that the immune system could recognize this gene product as foreign and try to reject the gene product. We are all incredibly grateful for the gene therapy patients because they're pioneers. They're the ones who took the risk in testing an unproven technology. And they're the real heroes in the story. If these chronic wounds continue to be unhealed, uh, they are a major source of infection, of pain, um, and itch, and in areas of chronic wounding, oftentimes there is an aggressive type of skin cancer called squamous cell carcinoma, and unfortunately this is one of the leading causes of death in patients with recessive dystrophic EB. Patients um, don't live past 30s or 40s. I just never thought it could get that bad. Cancer ate it. Sorry, the cancer ate her arm away. <laughs> and then I get cancer in my arm, and that was just so hard on me because it reminded me of her so much and what she had to go through. And it, it is kind of like you feel you might be watching what you might have to go through later. Oh, it's my bag. Yeah. Is it minimum medical? Is that part of this? Yeah.